Howdy! Today we're going to be opening up this uh, National Geographic Shark Tooth Dig Kit. I have not actually opened one of these before, so I'm excited to take you on this little journey. Um, yeah, it, it includes one dig brick, three types of shark teeth, one magnifying glass, two excavation tools, and one learning guide with instructions. So let's go ahead and get into this. First, need to uh, use my pocket knife that has some uh, nice moss agate as a handle. And we're just going to open it right there. Get that out of the way. Now, for opening this, um, I'm doing this that way um, for those parents that want to be able to do this with their kids. Uh, you guys know what you're going to be uh, paying for. Um, I think these are like $10 each if I remember correctly. I'll have to double check with the pricing. Um, of course, that's going to depend on location. I got this at a Michael's Craft Store. Um, but there's a bunch of other stuff there too I wanted to buy. And I did get two other uh, kits, but today we're going to focus on this one. Um, but yeah, so again, this is for parents to know what you guys are going to be getting when you pay for these. Um, yeah. So, let's see what we got here. We got our shark tooth dig kit. I'm pretty sure this is the instruction manual. Like it says some facts about sharks in there. Uh, food that's made out of shark meat and fins in there. Other stuff. Uh, myths and facts. About the fossils they're probably going to find in this kit. And I think this might be for notes. So what do we got here? We got a nice little baggie that has uh, some prep tools. You got a little chisel, a little brush, a little magnifying glass. And... We have this. This is not an actual shark tooth. This is just the sand or the material that's made to look like a shark tooth. And it feels pretty hard. So I think what we're going to do here, this way we don't make a mess all over this table, we're going to use this mat. So we're just going to go ahead and take off the plastic here. Oh my gosh. That plastic's really on there. There we go. All right. Get the plastic off. Now, I don't really know where to start. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and look at the instructions. Okay. Step one, prepare your workstation. The science dig can get messy. So place your digging brick on a sturdy paper plate or newspaper. If the weather's nice, do your excavation outside. Two, the specimens are buried inside your digging brick. Carefully dig into the brick with the tools provided. If the digging brick is too hard, try softening it by adding some water. Just pour a little water on the brick and let it soak in. When you find a specimen, make sure to excavate all the way around it. Patience is key, so as not to damage the fragile specimens. Do not try to pry out the specimen that is only partially excavated or it may break. Four. Rinse your specimens in water and remove any remaining dirt. Five, identify and learn about your discoveries. You'll find information about each one in the guide included in this kit. Okay. So, let's see how hard it is. Uh, it's a little hard. Do you have a bucket of water over here? One second. I'm not really sure how long to really soak it for, so I guess... Oh. Cool. See if I can zoom in a little bit. I guess I have... I guess this tool has a little serrated edge here. It also has this little chisel edge here. Oh, that's much better. A little chip off the old block. Our little <laughs> our little dust brush. Do 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 do. Let's 
I'm actually kind of betting that the the tooth fossils actually might be up in here. And that's what I'm kind of betting on at this point. Okay, so I think we finally found something. Pretty sure that this little section right here is a part of a tooth. So, now we have to be careful with extracting the tooth. Why did my brass go? There it is. The instructions said not to pry it out when it gets, you know, when it looks loose. And they all be around it. Oh. I think there's another one right here. I think I called it. I, I think I said that I, I felt like that a lot of them were going to be up in here. And sure enough... Yeah, sure enough. There's tooth number two. So you have tooth one. There's a second tooth. And I'm wondering if the third tooth is going to be over here. That's my guess anyway. I don't think I broke anything. Nope. Okay, we're good. Go ahead and move on the excess here. Oh, you know, we see the serrations of the tooth right there. That's cool. That's really cool. Got two shark teeth right there. Two false light shark teeth at that. Yep, there it is. It's hard to tell what side that's on. That little little part of a tooth right there. Let's go, let's go ahead and get that one exposed. Just very gently. So I'm guessing the tooth is gonna be coming down this way. Just the top part. So, it'll be going this way. There we have it. All three teeth. Let's go ahead and get these off here. And, uh, get them cleaned up. Yep, here's one. Don't do what I just did there. You have a chance to actually break in the teeth. Um, I just got lucky on that one. But 
we're gonna you know, let's go ahead and put this in, in some water really quick. The soft one up the material. All right. Oh man, that makes it's so much softer now. Oh, I should do this again. Just let it soak longer. Actually. Stay true to it, I gotta use the tool it came with. I mean, you could probably use any tool you wanted to at this point to get these out. Perfect, came off in one piece. Let's go ahead and carefully remove it from there. There's a little tooth here. And I actually use pretty good specimens for these uh for these dig kits. I was expecting like something kind of cheap, but uh no, it's pretty good. Let me go wash these off really quick, I'll be right back. Okay, here are the shark teeth all cleaned up and ready for identification. They they picked some really nice, beautiful specimens for this uh, particular dig kit. This is the first one I've ever done before. And so I don't know if they all are the exact same, if it's the same quality material or not. Maybe I just got lucky, I don't know. Uh, I got to buy one to find out. So here, first one, that is a sand tiger shark uh, fossilized tooth. Um, I really like that they include the packets with this so you can kind of see what each tooth, um, or which species the tooth belong to. Uh, the middle one, this big one right here. This belongs to a crow shark, which is, of course, extinct. Which is pretty cool. And the last one belongs to an Autodus oblicus. And I could be pronouncing that wrong, but there's a spelling right there. Uh, for those paleontologists that can actually pronounce a lot of these names. <laughs> um, but it's really cool that they actually, again, they provide this information so you can see what... Uh, oh, I missed some. There we go. But again, beautiful specimens. I'm really glad I actually picked these up. I was not expecting this. I was not expecting it to be this fun, but uh, for those parents that want to get this i highly recommend it all right so that's gonna do it for today's episode so uh thanks for stopping by i did something a little bit that's beyond what i normally do and i hope you all enjoyed it i sure did this is really fun to do hope to do more of these uh and i will see you guys in the next video rock on